Hello guys, so today hopefully, if the weather will allow me, I will show you how to change oil and oil filter in the Torek 2004 2.5 TDI. So the first thing you should be doing is opening the bonnet. And if you're lucky, you will have these panels here. I can see, you can see that I've lost this one. Well, I bought it like this, but uh, if you're lucky, it just makes the under the bonnet look a bit better. So the first thing you do is remove those like that. Then you remove this thing. Then you remove the side one like that they're just on the clips and literally they just pop on and pop off so you can just unclip them you don't need screwdriver or anything this thing is again just pull on it it'll unclip another clip here there and then two clips in the middle and just pull on them up and they unclip okay and this thing the middle one same again is just on clips so you just pull on it and it comes loose there's another clip on the back there we go there's a pipe there just push it out like that. There we go. Exposing the engine. Okay, so you can see now the exposed engine. You can see that's where the oil goes. And that's the oil filter that we are going to change. You are going to need a 32 mil head to unscrew that. And let's begin. Before I begin, as I always did with all my cars, I run them for a bit. So get the oil uh, viscosity up so it's nice and uh, viscous so they can uh, flush out more easily. And you don't need to get it uh, up to a, a normal operating temperature just a uh, 60 or up to 70 degrees so it's nice and viscous and when you open the bolt at the bottom it just flows and it doesn't stay in the engine so let's do that okay so guys uh, now i've driven you can see that the coolant is nearly at 90 and uh, the oil temperature is just above uh, 60 and that's all you need for the oil to be very viscous uh, rather than it being cold and very like, uh, what's the word, uh, honey-like. Uh, so now let's uh, get on to the next step. Okay, so I've purchased these, which should be a quicker job than j jacking the car and changing the oil. These were 40, 40 pounds from the internet. And they support up to two and a half tons, so I think they will be sufficient. So let's go ahead and uh, put them under the car and drive over. As you can see, I now drove over those ramps, no issue. They're very stable, very easy to drive over. And now we can get underneath, because there's plenty of room now underneath. To get to the plastic covers, start taking them off and start changing the oil. Okay, so now we are underneath. You can see I put an extra post. Previously I was using those to jack up the car. So I would jack up the car and put those posts. But they are very unstable. And uh, I dropped a previous car once and nearly dropped it five times. So. That's why I purchased those rams, because they are easier and more stable. But those will do as a support, extra support. Okay, so now you can see uh, we need to take this long cover first. So I can see one, two, three, four bolts. 
and then further down I can see one, two and even further down I cannot see oh it looks it looks like it's just a hook no bolts well I'll go I'll go and get my wrench and we'll see if we need to unscrew anything at the back but we'll take off this one first okay so now I've unscrewed using this the four bolts one was so rusty it fell out and the other one I just had to cut off and I've unscrewed the two now we are ready to take off this yeah uh -huh. I can see there's some sort of hook on the end okay I need to turn off the camera and unhook that okay let's see let's see what is that hook <laughs> Uh, I can see uh, it's only a zip tie from the previous owner so we can get rid of that there we are now we can take off the car now back to the front that is that long cover now let's go and see uh, where the oil bolts are okay Ah, uh, there it is. That's the oil. That's the oil bolt. It'll be 19 millimeters wrench or head. I'll get that and we'll get it sorted. I'm having trouble putting this bucket directly underneath this bolt. This plastic cover is in the way. And there's a cross member there, which is directly underneath. So what I've done, I put this bucket here, and I've got a plastic bottle. Cut the top off and cut the bottom off, and I will unscrew it, and I will direct the oil straight into the bucket. Okay, so see you after I've done this. Okay, so there's a little bit on my hand, but the rest of it is going into the bucket. So, great success! <laughs> there, and as you can see, that's all the oil. 8.9 liters, let's call it 9 liters. 9 liters, so I'll leave it, I'll leave the bolt off, let it drip into the bucket, and we can look into taking this out and change the filter as well okay, so I've unscrewed this cap but it doesn't seem like it's a uh, 34 mil so I brought my tape measure to see exactly what it is so I know next time not to talk shit okie dokie and it looks like it is 36 I would call 36 millimeter head uh, the biggest one I had was 34 so I've used a little bit of that and unscrewed it because it's only a cover cap it's not screwed very on tight and those pliers did the job so now we're gonna take out the filter black that is okay let's put it over here and let's get the new one always check before discarding the old one if the new one is exactly the same and always use the o-ring supplied that's brand new okie dokie so now let's take out the black one and check without the cap looks like it's a perfect fit so I can discard of the old one put the new one in 
it literally just clips in I will show you now like that up oh, that's it done so now let's put the o-ring first on there and then we can put the filter on so now I've got the new o-ring onto the cap put the filter in the old one goes in the box uh, let's see if there's a number for you that number there I always use uh, car parts for less you buy it online yeah, they deliver if not the next day the following day very good service okie dokie so let's put the new one in uh, screw it like that and tighten it with the pliers okay so you don't need to tighten it really really hard as long as the cap touches the metal casing like that that is fine okay so now we need to do it stopped dripping you can put put the bolt back in dripping a bit but you're not gonna get it all out unless you flush the engine there we are screw that back in and then tighten it with 19 it doesn't focus there we are 19 and as it with all bolts you screw in clockwise and unscrew anti-clockwise unless it's a special bolt All I'm going to be using is fully synthetic 506, and it's for use with WR5 engine, which this is TDI and V10 TDI. I purchased this 20 liters for uh, 85 quid. This is the cheapest I could find, and since I bought 20 liters, it went cheaper even more so if you buy five liters of this uh, it will cost you uh, 28 28 quid 29 quid so you're better off buying just 20 liters and that way five liters will cost you 20 something massive saving okay so let's put put the plastic cover back on and then we're gonna then we're gonna fill up nine liters of that beautiful oil. Okay. Okay. I've got some zip ties as well to hold it in to place. Okay. Okay, so I've got the bolts all oiled up. I hooked on the back. I'm gonna be using this so don't fuck about okay let's offer this up to there now I'm gonna need to release pull it down there we go there we are now 
just screw it back in. Okay, so the cover is now back on. As you can see, I used another bolt because that one was too short. Uh, I think I'll probably buy some new bolts and introduce some new bolts because they're all rusty. Now we can proceed and fill in 9 liters of oil into this beautiful engine. Okay, so I've just noticed that I've got 20 liter bottle and I need to hoist it over there which I don't think I'll be able to do because I'm only 6 foot 2 and not very strong, uh, pretty weak. So I think I'll be using this 2 litre bottle. I'll just cut the top off and I'll fill it and I'll fill the engine with that. I'll fill it again, fill the engine. So that way I know there's only four of these and my engine will have 8 litres and then I'm gonna just fill half of it and do the rest. I've tried out the bottle using my hand. So you don't want any moist or water or anything contaminants in it. Like that. So it's nice and dry. Now we can fill up with oil. Two liters of oil. Now let's get it into the car. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill the fourth bottle. And it's going to be eight liters in the engine. And after that, I can tidy up my tools put them away and drive off the ramps and then fill in the final liter on a level surface and when I check the dipstick on how many liters is required to do the between minimum and maximum okay so now I've driven off the ramps so the car is level now the thing to do is to check how much oil is in here. Okay. So first check you need to wipe it because it was uh, the engine was on and the oil was splashing away. So when it's dry like this, now you can put it in. and stick it out and you can see that it's still dry just a little bit wet uh, it needs to be half of that so I need to fill in another liter of oil and then check again let's give it let's give this baby another liter of the precious oil Thumbs up. Okay, dokey. So let's put the cup, the cap, back on, and let's take a little bit of paper. There. Let's check again. Okay, so wipe it first. So it's nice and dry. And let's stick it in, put it back out, and see. Okay, so we've got doesn't focus. There we are. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus. There. You can see there's half of the serrated bit. There we are, see? Half of it. So half of it, the minimum is there at the bottom and the top mark, you can see that's the maximum. If it's half, it's perfect. So, what you should do again after you've checked, it's all okay now. 
so you should drive drive for a little bit so all the oil settles and check again you might need another few hundred grams to add in but it should be okay for this one and that is it and in next videos I'll probably be changing that one which is the fuel filter because I've got it and another one I will do I'll be changing the air filter so you can check out my other videos thanks for watching goodbye